I'm Generation X. Uh, I'd rather hang out with baby boomers than millennials, but I'd rather hang out with Generation Z than either one of them. Uh, the reason is because baby boomers often, while they're a lot of fun to hang out with, they often say things that are just like axiomatic language, like sayings that are just kind of boring, and that's mostly the women in mixed company. In, in mixed company, the dudes kind of just sit there or like talk about the good old days uh, in a way that is uh, kind of boring. Like the, the guys would just be like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Like, I want to know more, you know? And you really got to pay attention to them to find their humor. Which isn't too hard to do. I, I didn't really understand my stepdad as a humorous guy until I was like in my 30s. I didn't see him as a funny dude. But then I started like laughing at the things he was saying. And then he started kind of like walking all over me because he thought he was the better dude. And it was like too much pride given to him. So I sort of stopped laughing at his little stories and paying attention to his words and shit. And anything other than like... Like that, I was listening, and I was often following what he was saying. And a lot of times, I was calling out him out for his shit, and he would laugh, and then my mom would tell him to shut up. So it was stuff like that, and they don't really understand me when I'm trying to be funny. Uh, they get my humor when I'm pissed off. You know what I mean? When I'm like arguing with them and they're laughing and they're saying stuff like, you're out of control. Well, no, you're a fucking uh, capitalist dog compared to me. Yeah, you're in support of capitalism. And my stepdad will say things like, it's not really socialism if you uh, support these socialist ideas that FDR had. That's not really socialism. Bush said it's socialism. And socialism is good. Uh, I've posted some of those memes too, but you know me well enough to know that we're all say, uh, you might not think it's communism, but it's communism and it is good. So uh, I can have a conversation with baby boomers. I can't have a conversation with millennials. and uh, Millennials annoy the fuck out of me, especially liberal millennials. And I'm left wing. Left-wing millennials, the dudes sound like women, and the uh, 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 women sound like men. The only real millennials that I can hang out with are, I, I don't know if it's older millennials, like millennials that were born in the early 80s, I can sort of get along well with them. Um, and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're older, so therefore I get along well with them. I can't, I, most Generation X people, I either sound like classes pigs or a bunch of rednecks. I had two friends in high school that were Generation X, that were dudes. Um, when I met millennials, uh, my younger brother I hated at first. And now I can get along with him, but I still kind of think he's a shit again. Like, he's so he's got classist ideals, even though he's likely going to support Bernie Sanders. He hangs out with my dumb shit Trump-supporting brother, who I often call a faggot now, uh, and would prove it by knocking his teeth out. If I ever see that motherfucker again, I'm going to deck him. I don't care if we're 70 years old. And it's my dad's funeral, and my dad lived to the ripe old age of 100. If I see Sean again, I'm going to deck him. I don't fucking care. I hate him. Uh, Seth, I'm going to say, fuck you. But he probably already knows that. It's his arrogant, classist bullshit. His elitist, liberal bullshit that I don't like. I don't hate him. But at the same time... Uh, his arrogance pisses me off. And Sean's arrogance pisses me off. Uh, so, like, for the most part, when it comes right down to it, I'd rather hang out with baby boomers 
and people even older than them, the millennials, atheist millennials, I think that that's the point that I'm trying to make here, are better. Uh, but it's the older millennials with this caveat. Generation Z are not fucking around. Liberal millennial dudes, to me, sound like a bunch of queers. Liberal millennial women, to me, sound like a bunch of bull dykes. Baby boomer men and women sound like men and women. The gays sounded gay and the straight sounded straight. Among millennials, the straight sound gay and the gays sound straight for the most part. Even my little brother has gone full on Ned Flanders and sounds like a fucking queer. Even though he's not and gets a lot of pussy. His girlfriend seem butchy even though they look feminine. And my older brother uh, sounds like a fucking homophobe. And I always grew up thinking he was left-wing or liberal, but he was lying the whole time, kind of. Like when Obama came around, like he supported Bill Clinton. But then when Obama came around, it was all about like, this guy's a puppet. Then Trump's coming around, oh, he's new and unusual, so we like him. Even though Trump is a fucking puppet. Uh, the baby boomers, the men sound like men, the women sound like women, and the gays sounded gay. That's the way I like it. The millennials, uh, the gays sound straight and the straight sound gay. Generation X just sounds like a bunch of fucking classes pigs and a bunch of rednecks to me. I can't stand most Generation X. Two dudes that I went to school with. Uh, were my friends. The rest of them were pretty much just a bunch of assholes. Uh, or there was also like the uh, conservatives and they sound like a bunch of rednecks. They ask stupid questions. Generation X women ask stupid ass fucking questions. Like why do you want a girlfriend so much? Girls are gross. Dudes are gross. Why the fuck you even... Like, they don't get it. Like, they, they just will ask stupid fucking retard questions. Like, why do you like girls so much? The answer is because I'm a dude, you fucking bull dyke. Who the fuck are you? I don't fucking like them. You know what I mean? I don't fucking like Generation X women. For the most part. Uh, the Generation X people that I am friends with are usually gay. Uh, the Millennials that I'm friends with are usually gay. Or conservatives, believe it or not. Uh, the Baby Boomers that I'm friends with... Uh, it's more like I'm listening to them, but they're not really listening to me, and I guess that's fair. I'm younger, so they have sort of an ageism against younger people, uh, even though I'm more left-wing than them. And they really dig me. Like, when I hang out with baby boomers, they're like, you're a really cool dude. But, like, on Facebook, they can't stand me because, or on the internet because all I do is run my mouth. And they ask stupid fucking questions, too. I hate it when people ask me stupid fucking questions. Like, why do you want a girlfriend? What is socialism to you? Look it up, you fucking retard. I'm not here to fucking be your bitch. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your boyfriend. I am not here to do that. That's why I shut up the comments. Because some sort of smart-ass faggot retard will be there like, You'll answer the questions. Well, that I shut up the comments so it doesn't happen IRL. I fucking hate people, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't stand people that ask stupid fucking questions. When they already know the answers to those questions. That riles me right up. The only reason to do that is to rile somebody up because you think it's funny. It's not. Um, Google it. What is socialism to me doesn't answer it. Who cares? I've already explained it. I'll explain it some more, but you got to wait your turn. you got to listen to me as I do my YouTube videos. A lot of people will say shit on my YouTube videos that are just... Or when I post them on Instagram, 
there, there's more people that say shit that isn't stupid, but there's occasionally people that will say shit on Instagram that is just stupid, like some young punk. He'll say something like, well, um, you shouldn't use the Bible to interpret your views. Even though, like, right before that, I posted an article that, that, uh, explained it from a scientific context and then on the next video I explained it from a religious context like why do I need to use the Bible well 75 percent of the country is Christian I'm not a Christian but I am still gonna appeal to 75 percent of the country by using the Bible and in the previous video I explained the scientific reasoning for it quit being a little fucking punk you're trolling you didn't watch, you are willfully ignorant of the previous video. So that's why I like Generation Z. Because, like the baby boomers, the men sound like men, the women sound like women, the boys sound like boys, and the girls sound like girls, and the gays sound like gays, and everybody's on the same side. The reason for that is the millennials didn't have Bernie Sanders when they were 13 years old. When Generation Z first heard of Bernie Sanders, a lot of them that are voting age now were in 8th grade in 2016 when Bernie Sanders sort of united the base. Uh, when the, uh, when the uh, 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 millennials were 13 and were sort of being united by something, they were being united by uh, their love of Facebook. That's a major, major difference. They were united by a capitalist. Somebody that was not of their flock. Generation Z was united by somebody who was of their flock. And, of course, Generation X had a lot of punk rock, and we st we had a lot of, we didn't start it, but uh, a lot of the popularity of punk rock and a lot of the uh, popularity of hip-hop was started by baby boomers, but we made it popular. And that loosely uh, united us. Generation X, when we were... In high school, it was like, you know, there were the rock crowd, and then there was the rap crowd. And then the millennials threw it all together into the same mishmashy, crappy music. And the Generation Z said, look, there's a lot of different kinds of music that we like. Which is more like the baby boomers. There's a lot of different kinds of music that we like. So that's why I like Generation Z. Because their voting age, they were united by somebody of their flock and they are and act like what they are and they're not a bunch of bigots about it we have a lot to learn from these kids i'm telling you and so you know, of course not, they're not all kids but if you're 40 and don't call 20 year olds kids you're acting kind of like a pussy like you're fucking like well i'm a straight cisgendered male i get that henry rollins but you can say the same thing by just saying, I'm a dude. Because if you're gay, you're just going to say, I'm a gay. Or I'm trans. Which is cut and dry and more like Gen Z. The millennials will say, well, I'm a straight cisgender, cisgender male that, that occasionally likes to lick a penis, but I like dildos in my ass. You don't need to say all that. All you need to say is, I'm a guy, I'm a woman, or I'm gay, or I'm trans. If it's something, or pan, or buy, be clip and clear. I hate the whole millennial thing of it's like 20 words to describe what you are sexually. Generation Z, they could just use one word. I admire that. 